solar system is around 4.6 billion years old, which means that solar system is one-third the age of the universe. So what was it all like in the beginning of the solar system? What was going on and what did the planets look like? Let's go back in time and visit the early solar system. So appearing in the solar system 4.6 billion years ago, you would see a faint sun that was surrounded by a huge spinning disk of gas. If you were in the inner region, the temperatures would be around 2000 Kelvin, so you pretty much would be dead within seconds, unless of course you have an advanced spacesuit that can save you from that. We have also imaged other forming systems in our galaxy and the disks are gigantic. Now let's go a bit more into the future. Let's go to the solar system 4.5 billion years ago. So this is a hundred million years after the formation and after that protoplanetary disk. Appearing during this time, the disk would be completely gone and there would now be all of the known planets in the solar system, meaning dust particles from that disk earlier got together and formed planets. Things would be a lot more calm now and the temperature would not be as high. The solar system from your eyes would seem normal. So let's visit all of the known planets and see what is going on on them. But it is also important to note that there likely have been planets in the solar system that are now gone because they likely have been in collision with today's planets or they have been completely ejected out of the solar system. But still, let's focus on the planets we know of. Let's go to Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Looking at Mercury from space from such a time, the planet would likely seem very grey as expected, but what would be a lot different is that it would not be as cratered, meaning it would be very smooth with an occasional volcano. That's right, there were active volcanoes on the surface back then there might even have been some sort of an atmosphere that is now gone. Now let's visit the second closest planet to the Sun, which is Venus during the same time frame, 4.5 billion years ago. Looking at Venus from space, it would be quite fascinating as there is evidence that there were oceans on its surface with liquid water. So what you would look at would not even seem like Venus, there would be likely an ocean and a normal atmosphere with an all right temperature. There would be an occasional volcano and maybe even some snow on the surface at some high peaks, which is nothing like today's hell-like Venus. Now let's visit the third planet from the Sun, which is the Earth. Earth would seem very much like Venus, with oceans and unrecognizable continents. The atmosphere would also look different as there was not oxygen and in general the composition was a lot different. Now the moon would be a lot smoother with fewer craters and a few spots. Now let's go visit Mars. From space Mars as well would be very different because either it would have lots of water ice on its surface or liquid water ocean. Whatever would be the case it would be very cold on Mars as the sun was a lot less luminous than it is now. The surface would likely be also completely different with lots of ice and water and lots of sand that may have had a different coat. Now let's visit Jupiter, but the thing about Jupiter and other gas planets is that we don't know that much about their past as we do with solid planets, but we can roughly know as to what they look like. So viewing Jupiter, it would likely be a gassy planet as it is today, but the patterns on its surface will likely be different. The huge red spot, which is a storm, will likely not be there. But rather, there may be many of those spots or none. The mass of Jupiter was also likely different. Looking at the moons of Jupiter, such as Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, it would be apparent that they are very young with relatively very smooth surfaces, all varying in color. Except the moon Io, which is to this day geologically active, even more so than the Earth so it has the youngest surface in the solar system. Now let's visit Saturn. Again, we do not know much about its past, but viewing Saturn, likely rings would not be present or as bright as they accumulated over time as more comets approached. So likely these rings would not be as bright and would not be that visible. Saturn's moons, again, would all look very young, but moon Titan, we don't know how it looked like in the past. It might have had a thinner atmosphere and it might not have had liquid methane lakes. Now 
we can also visit Uranus and Neptune. They would all have their own differences, we just do not know how different they were. But Neptune might not have had its largest moon Triton, as it does today. That's because Triton was likely captured by Neptune's gravity later on. It's also interesting to know that Pluto and Triton have very similar surface compositions and are in general similar. So that is pretty much how the solar system looked like 4.5 billion years ago, or 100 million years after the formation. Of course we do not have every detail about the past, but we have a rough picture. But as said, there could be many planets and moons that are by now gone, we don't know. But we do know that the solar system is for now stable and relatively safe.